Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 22nd day the month of September 2023. I am Grace Dorcas Nikachi. First, the major headlines. Police snap suspect over killing of 65-year-old man in Abia community. MBM of Africa organization throws out education materials to 12 emo schools. We are making efforts to rescue kidnap core members, says NYC Director General. Take on marshes, we'll be right back with details and many more stay connected. Experience this smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermode Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now, the details. Abia State Police Command has confirmed the arrest of undisclosed number of suspects linked with the murder of one Mr. J. Buchigose, a 65 year old resident of Umumba, Sirimo, Bakala Omaha, South Local Government of the State. He was allegedly murdered on September 21st, 2023, at about 8 a.m., when his lifeless body was discovered with multiple matched cords on his head. A 12 year old girl identified as Precious Nkume is currently under green investigations after allegedly lacing her madam's food, Mrs. Stella Ihanacho, with a poisonous substance known as Sniper. Your accused teenage girl, a native of Ncharao Loko, in Ikwano Loko Government of Fabia State, was now living with Mrs. Ihanacho, the headmistress of World Bank Primary School 1, Umahia. Upon interrogation, Ms. Nkume, a JS, JSS1 pupil of Ibeku Secondary School, said she was instructed to poison her madam's food by a certain man she failed to mention, which her interviewer claimed she earlier gave us Ijere. No fewer than 12 primary schools located in Obo subzone on the Okigwe Zonal chapter of New Black Movement of Africa worldwide have been have benefited from the organization's corporate social responsibility as it does out notebooks and other education materials. The donation is one of the series of charity exploited and backed by the organization across Okigwe Zone, Imo State and Nigeria at large in recent times. Kicking off the program, the president of the organization of Okigwe Zone, Honorable Ejigbe Mwachuku, while highlighting the importance of education, noted that having well-educated and oriented citizens fast-track development in the society. APES Igbo Social Culture Organization or Hanese Dibo Youth Council Worldwide has condemned the killing of eight security operatives in Imo State by unknown gunmen. The group's reaction was contained in a statement by its national president, Mazi Oku Nabike. While expressing sadness about the murder of the security men, Oku said such an act was alien to the principles in Dibo was known for. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has declared two siblings from Delta State wanted for an alleged fraud of 330 million naira. This was contained in a statement issued by the EFCC spokesperson Wilson Wajarin, copies of which were made available to journalists in Worry Delta State on Friday. The Director General of the National Youth Service Corps, Brigadier General Yusuf Hamad, says efforts are ongoing to secure the release of the five prospective core members adopted in Zamfara State. Hamed made this known at an interactive section with the House of Representatives Committee on Youth Development on Thursday in Abuja. He explained that the eight prospective core members are adopted in August 2023 on their way to the orientation camp in Sokoto State, three have been released. The Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Yensom Wike, has revoked 165 lands belonging to notable Nigerians in Abuja. According to a document signed by the FCT Permanent Secretary, Olusha De Adeshola, and made available to our correspondent, the revocation was due to the violation and contravention of the terms of development of the right of occupants. The managing director of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN Sule Abdulaziz, 
has called for proper regulation of energy storage in the power sector. Abdulaziz disclosed this at the ongoing three-day 2023 Nigerian Energy Leadership Summit in Lagos. The TCM boss, who was represented by the company's general manager of regulations and compliance, Ali Buka, said that the 2023 Electricity Act failed to tackle the issue of storage. Currency in circulation in Nigeria jumped by 1.7 trillion naira to 2.7 trillion naira following the rise in cash transactions. A figure obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria's data on CIC on Thursday disclosed that the currency in circulation hit 2.7 trillion as of 31st August 2023. Brunei State Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Development, Hajia Zuwara Gambo, has said that only about 5,000 out of over 100 repentant Boko Haram members were actual insurgents. Gambo made this known in Midugri while presenting a paper titled Brunei Model at an event to commemorate the 2023 International Day of Peace organized by an NGO. Peace Ambassador for Humanitarian Aid and Empowerment. On the foreign scene, a Rwanda man pleaded guilty on Thursday to killing 14 people after the discovery of a pile of bodies buried in a hole in his kitchen. Denis Kazungu, age 34, was indicated with multiple charges including murder, rape, forgery, impersonation, and discrimination of human corpses. At a packed court hearing in Kigali, Kazungu said yes when asked by the judge if the prosecution allegations against him were correct. While in sports, Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino has won striker Nicholas Jackson over the cheap yellow cards he has picked up this season. Jackson, who only arrived from Villarreal this summer, is one yellow card away from a ban. Most of his bookings have come from confronting the referee to complaining about decisions. This brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, recap our major stories. Police nap suspect over killing of 65-year-old man in Abia community. Every of Africa organization throws out education materials to 12 EO schools. We are making efforts to rescue kidnap call members, says NYC Director General. These admin multiple platforms log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on our social media platforms in this video on the screen. I am Grace Dorcas Nikachi. Have a pleasant night, rest, be safe.